What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Here to bring you an NFL trade prediction video on Jerry Judy. I believe the Denver Broncos will trade away their former first round pick to the Green Bay Packers. And let's get right into it. So the Packers are one of the most needy teams in the NFL as far as receiver goes. Their entire contending team coming to the season struggled so far, and their pass catchers have been the biggest weakness along with their O line. But uh, the catchers are the pass catchers are very, very uh, not the norm for what the Packers are used to having Devontae Adams all those the last couple years. A lot of drop passes, a lot of bad route running, a lot of lack of separation. I think Jerry Judy will fit the bill perfectly. Now, the Packers have a couple options. They, they can go the big physical route and chase Claypool. They can go the separation route, route running, uh, and Jerry Judy. Or they can go the unproven speedster and KJ Hamler. Those three are my main pieces, uh, main three prospects for the Packers to get. And that's the only reason because uh, only reason that is is because reports came out um, that the Packers are looking for a receiver on their rookie deal still. You know, I do like Brandon Cooks to the Packers. That's been a rumor for years. Uh, Cooks is on the market every year, dang near. So that's been, I did a video on that last year, actually, last trade deadline. So, uh, But that still didn't happen. Uh, Cooks is back on the market, actually. But I, I, I do think um, the Packers will, will go young, honestly. Then you have um, another veteran I like a lot, very – a very uh, non-talked-about move uh, or a dark horse move. I like Jarvis Landry to the Packers. Uh, it was rumored this offseason. It didn't happen. He went to the Saints. He went home home to the Saints. But I think if he were to be traded, the Packers would be a good home there. But as I said, I'm going to stick with the narrative that they're going to go young. And I think Judy is the best option out of those three in Hamler, himself, and Claypool. Um, the thing is with me, Claypool is a hotter name. But Claypool, big size, you know, he doesn't have the footwork Adams have. You know, some people want to say, not comparing him to Adams, but just size-wise, he's a big-body guy. You know, they kind of lack the big-body physical receiver on their roster right now. Alan Lazard is a big-body guy, but he's more of a speedster. Uh, Christian Watson, their second-round pick this year, kind of the same, not physical, uh, more of a just big-body speedster, athletic freak type of guy. They're in the same mold. They have Romeo Dobbs, Randall Cobb. They're kind of in the same mold as a smaller receiver. Not similar play types or play styles, but smaller guys. So I think Judy's the best of both worlds. Not too small, not overly big, but good size on him with some good, with some good footwork, good route running. Only thing with Judy is his hands kind of garbage. <laughs> That's the only thing. Uh, I don't know what happened from Bama to Denver, but his hands been very, very suspect. Um, you know, can that be fixed? Can that be changed? I think so. We've seen the guys in the past, especially of, of recently, Nelson Aguilar, who I believe could be as well in the trade market rumors for the Green Bay Packers if they go out of their uh, rookie contract deal option you know i think uh he's definitely a good option as well he's stuck in new england just sitting there chilling you know but uh we see him turning around from philly to oakland so i think judy could do the same thing and also judy the biggest option to me personally because we see him the other what was it two weeks ago last week whatever it was him talking to melvin gordon on on the sideline and uh him you know saying uh Looking like he was saying some bad things about the about the Broncos and how the things and how the matchup was going. Uh, so you know you don't want to have that on your team long term. You don't know what Judy's saying in the locker room and group texts and group chat stuff like that. So I think you'll nip it in the bud early. You know you caught him and Gordon's on the outs as well. You know I don't think he'll be traded because Gordon has no trade value. Solid running back, good potential still, but his fumble issues are a big issue. I don't think a team will trade for that to put it on their roster right now. So um, I don't think Gordon goes anywhere. But Melvin Gordon, I think, might be on the on the doghouse in, in the doghouse for the rest of the season. I think Judy, who had just had a good game with uh, what's his name Brett Ripon, Brett Ripon, whatever his name is, the backup quarterback to uh, Russell Wilson, he had a good game. Came out he came out with a hot start, had a pretty good game. Um, you know, but I, I do think he will be moved. Um, you know, hopefully with him being moved, you have 
uh, Hamler getting more of a look. You know, he's been there for a couple of years now out of Penn State. I like him a lot, but he's just wasting. You know, he hasn't been getting that much, uh, getting targeted that much. He's been injured here and there as well. So uh, if Judy is moved, I think Hamler will step up and get and get some good, good some good, well-deserved, well-needed PT uh, that should have been happening years ago or should have been happening this year as well, you know. Um, so with that being the case, you know, I'm going to do another video right after this one on why Chase Claypool won't be traded until 2023, whether it be doing the – uh, off season or doing by the trade deadline, if healthy, I think Ch uh, Chase Claypool will be off the Steelers in 2023, but not this season. So, but that's it for video, guys. Um, the Packers need a pass catcher, and I believe they find one in Jerry Judy. Um, oh, before, before I go to Jerry Judy, so when I look for trades, right, or free agency signings, I look for certain uh, connections, right, and Nathaniel Hackett being the Packers. Uh, on the Packers coaching staff last year is a connection. It does make sense. Um, another connection Jerry Judy has is to the Baltimore Ravens. If you don't, if you don't know him and uh, Lamar Jackson grew up together, childhood friends. Uh, you know, so that's also an option that could definitely uh, pan out there. But to me, the Packers are more receiver needy. You know, uh, the the Ravens. I know we've been saying for years as an NFL community, the Ravens need a receiver. They need a receiver. They have some good ones. They have Wallace. They have Duvernay. They have Bateman. And they're all pretty, they're all relatively healthy right now. I know Bateman's hurt right now with an ankle injury, I, I, I believe. But he's been, he played last week, Mr. Mr. Game or two before that. And now he's back on the injury list, injury report this week uh, for, for the Ravens. So there is a thing there. But outside of that, though, I mean, they relatively have a decent roster. They they just signed Deshaun Jackson, who, as I said prior in a prior video, I don't like that move, but it did it did happen. So you know I don't think the Ravens go out receiver route this trade deadline. Maybe next year or next summer they might address it a little bit stronger. But right now I think they're going to focus on maybe a running back, maybe a DB, you know, maybe another linebacker. Maybe we'll see. But uh, so Julia has a couple connections. But I think the connection tied to the Packers and the Packers need. They need a receiver badly. And I think Judy will be that guy. And, uh, you know, he will get a star quarterback who will throw in the ball. Because Packers, and well, not Packers, but Rodgers, when Rodgers likes you and you, you, you get a, a vibe with him, he's going to throw you the ball. You just got to catch it. Catch it and run. And I, I, you know, the running part with Judy is cool, but the catching the part is a little iffy. So, but we'll see what happens, though, guys. That's it for video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.